Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to an Xbox One video. And in this video, I want to show you guys the wireless display, which is a new feature coming to Xbox One that is currently in beta. It's currently in the preview program, so if you're in that, you can try it out. And what wireless display does is it allows you to project a display from something like your computer, your smartphone, or even your tablet onto your Xbox One. So let me show you how this works. First up, what you want to do is select the wireless display app. You can either select it from the menu or you can say Xbox, go to wireless display. Either way, once you're done, you will then be presented with this screen. This is now your Xbox One ready to receive your display. Now it doesn't currently seem to work on my PC, but it does work from my smartphone. So I'm going to demonstrate it using that. And what's more important is it doesn't have to be a Windows phone. I'm doing this with my Android phone. I'm currently using the OnePlus One. So if I go down to my settings option and I then scroll down to display and lights, and I select the option for cast screen, I will then see the Xbox System OS displayed there. If I then select it, it will then take a second to connect. And once it's done that, you'll see on the Xbox that it's connecting, the screen goes black. So if I return to the home menu or the home screen, you will then see my home screen. This is what my home screen currently looks like. I can scroll between the different pages. I can open up folders if I want to. I can go to something like Twitter. And anything I do on my phone is now being displayed on my Xbox One. There is a tiny bit of delay, but for the most part, it is pretty smooth. And anything I do on my phone will now be displayed on my Xbox One. And if I turn my phone sideways, then obviously you can experience it full screen. And this doesn't just have to be apps. I can go back here and I can go down and select, say, a game, for example, and choose something like Cut the Rope. And then once that launches, I can then play that also on my Xbox One. Now, as I said, this doesn't just have to be smartphones. This can be your tablet, so a Windows phone, or if you're using an iPad and you have the ability to screencast or mirror screens, and then, more importantly, you can use your computer to do this. So if you were working on a project or you were playing a game, for example, on PC, then if you can cast your screen and you can share it to your Xbox One, then you can see it on a second display. Now, while I haven't had a chance to test it using my PC, this could be a really useful feature for those of you that, say, play PC games and perhaps want to be able to record the screen without using something like PC screen capture software. You can instead mirror it to your Xbox One and use something like an Elgato to capture it that way. Either way, it doesn't really matter what you want to share. Point is, if you want to try this out yourself, then this is how you do it. Provided you are in the Xbox One preview program, then you will have this, the Xbox preview dashboard. If you then select this, it will then open up. And once you open it up, you will then find yourself here. If you then scroll down to quests, you will then open up this page here and you'll find the third option or the third option at the time is the extend your screens app. Once you find that, if you click it, you can then download it. And that is the wireless display application. Once you have it, you can then launch it and you can do exactly what you just saw me do. And that, my friends, is it. That is a brief look at the wireless display option coming to Xbox One and that is how you use it. If you do have any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.